Make sure you're taking Avery, your Avery's gonna Avery's gonna be like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you we go. gotta make sure if that works. No, it's not gonna Oh piranha plant? Oh it's going piranha oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to live with it yeah, that's exactly why he did that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, here's our lovely commentators over here. Welcome. Hello, I'm Let's Popcorn. I'm so Amish. Yeah. We're both from lacrosse, so we're not going to be biased. Uh huh. Uh, so when the game's about to start, you transition. Alright. When the game's over, just hit it back to comms. Yeah. So, just click. Edit those, and hit this little refresh button. Awesome. Here it is. Well, this mouse also, I don't know. This is what you would say. Um, You're lying. Both these mice are dead. <laughs> um, so okay. just click these up. You just uptick them and hit the refresh button to just disperse them. That's it. Alright. So once you, that, once you update the score, you hit that. So once I press one, then press the distance. Yep. Alright. Let me just set this back down to zero. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to talk about Oat for a second, because uh, Oat is a notorious uh, lacrosse slayer at West Town Brawl. Well, by lacrosse, I mean shiny. Uh, oh, no. Oat has played shiny. Our, our goat, our goat shiny, the Byleth, the red-white Byleth, uh, Only decent character in our region. <laughs> <laughs> only, decent, only decent character in our region. Kind of. I don't know, you play some cool characters. But, I, um, I got one more thing for you guys. The scene on the right, which is also the scene on the right up there, that's the one that's live. Okay, and now you guys are live. And when you hit one transition, one. when you hit transition, that'll move over. Yeah, it will transition over. That's fine. So cool. Hit transition is, uh, once the game starts. All right. Alrighty. All right. I leave it to you. So yeah. At West Town Brawl, Oat has played Shiny uh, a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, so. I had a fight out earlier today in Brad. How'd that go? Uh, it went as well as you probably think it would. Did it, was it a 2-0? 2 2 but I did get them to... But I was getting them pretty close during those games. 2 but close. Yeah, because yeah. Corrin is... Pretty good. Corrin kind of carried me much, most of that. No, it's your skill. You almost beat him, not Corrin. Don't ever doubt yourself ever again. Anyway, we, we are starting game one of Winner's Finals. Uh, the first game we streamed, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna see a lot of throwing of the Pikmin. In yes, this, uh, and we're gonna see maybe a little bit of bucket. But uh, where's, where's Eric though in the bracket? Let me look at that up. Uh, it seems like Eric handles, oh, seems like Handel's getting a lot of the damage out now, but is constantly getting hit by these uppies. That's just something that I've been hit, getting hit by a lot because this. Because Game & Watch Uppy is very, very big for some reason. Yes. Uh, Game & Watch Uppy, one of the, would be the best move in the game, if not for Steve Block, but... Uh, <laughs> if, if only for Steve Block. <laughs> Steve Block is different. Jack are almost killing there. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, Getting the down air with that. Yeah, uh, purple and yellow Pikmin are really good at two-framing, uh, and we're going to see that a lot in this matchup because Game & Watch is so light and oftentimes goes to the ledge. Oh, no, yeah. Although right now, Candle's got himself a good lineup of moves. <laughs> oh, that is micro spacing, <laughs> we'll call it. <laughs> micro spacing. Holy That's shit, there's no reason that should have been. Uh, Avery, Avery, one of the luckiest players in the world. Uh, getting the down um, there off on them. Ooh, it hits the 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, do that a lot after taking a stock. They usually hit the up to up to. Yeah, that's a that's that's low key raw, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, landing neutral landing with up B, kind of crazy. <laughs> Slowly, <laughs> kind of making a comeback of sorts, uh, racking up percent. Uh, that's plus. Can't punish it. Uh, yeah, especially whoop. since they didn't have pick, any Pikmin to actually throw out. Right, it, had they to, had to pull out the blue Pikmin. Ooh, gets a white grab. Sadly, gonna do some damage, but not a whole lot. Getting the downer, not, not kill another two frame. Avery Kendall is just on top of the two frames right now. Problem is, they're not able to kill off of it. We'll see. Uh, now we're back to neutral. Just kind of swing. Oh, oh getting the blue Pikmin with the up throw killing. That is a, a candle classic. Uh, having the blue Pikmin in the lineup and then just pulling it and grabbing right away. Very strong mix up. Very. Uh, he's got double pick. They've got double Pikmin now. Getting the miss on that up air from the up smash. 
punishing the up smash with just a purple throw. Now we're at ledge. Ooh. That's Ooh, a that's a oh, that's classic. Will this kill? Uh, I say so. Game yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that was that's what I was gonna bring up. That's another one of the Canada classics. Yeah, the uh, the the double Pikmin. Pikmin down smash. Because uh, that shield breaks for whatever goddamn reason. Yeah, like right thought. It's both of them. That's crazy. Okay, but, uh, you're going to small battlefield now after that game. Yeah. Uh, don't don't really know much about the counter picks, but I imagine the smaller top last zones. Uh, Oats kind of thinking about. Uh, but I would say that this matchup kind of favors uh, Alf a little bit more in this on this stage. But the platforms are a little bit better, I slightly. Suppose. But this is Game and Watch, who very easily wants to juggle uh, juggle Alf in this situation. Right. And right now they're doing a lot of damage right now after that, but. Not able Ooh. to convert really off of that since the blue Pikmin was the throw instead of just regular Pikmin. If you did, if you noticed, uh, he did they did down throw white Pikmin throw uh, to kind of set up a mix up. But oh, uh, just aware of the surroundings, uh, quickly gets it off and punishes. Uh, ooh, at ledge, Game and Watch one of the best ledge trappers in the game, maybe the, the best. Let's see if he starts chefing it up. Not really, but still on ledge. Still putting Candle into the disadvantage state, despite getting back to stage multiple times at this point. Yeah, both of these disadvantage states are pretty good, minus the parts where you get two frames. But like, you know, you can't really control that unless you don't go to ledge at all. Oh, they tried to go for the Pikmin desync the, there for the up throw. That's the that's the Mariah critical strike. If you know, you know. <laughs> the uh, Mariah. <laughs> but uh, ooh, gets off stage again. Let's see if Kenny finish it. Ooh, Ooh, almost. That, that's the MKLeo, if you know you know. But, uh, <laughs> the MKLeo. Oh, oh, tries oh. to turn around and grab, but Alpha is a bad character. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and up B is a top 10 move in the game. Real. Real, <laughs> real shit. Dash uh, deck almost killing, but Oda's having such a hard problem trying to find his stock here at 171%. Around. Ooh, Solomar, let's see. Never mind. All right. Gets the forward smash, barely not killing. These two are at such a high percent, anything could kill Ooh, right here. Oh! Gets the extension from the up air, but just barely not able to beat out down air and taking that stock. Down air, one of the best stalling falls in the game. Uh, but immediately gets punished for trying to do another down air. That's the that's the horcrux of a Game & Watch player. Is Sometimes you're a little telegraphed. Getting the 57 off of that down throw into up smash confirmed. And gets a yellow Pikmin, doesn't gets an extra 20%. This is a this is a good advantage shape and now Candle's the one dropping. The, Candle's the one in a disadvantage right now, but getting the down there right after getting off from ledge. Ooh, double purple, double purple. We know we know what happens. We saw game one. We did see game one, but the question is, will they learn from their mistakes? Yeah. Uh, the you want a shield so bad, uh, Avery or Candle, just always conditioning shield and then runs up, reverse down smash, insane. But uh, killing the other Pikmin. So right now they're out of Pikmin except for Yellow right now. So oh, they're out of Pikmin now in general. Oda's is playing this very well, just uh, being pretty disciplined. Uh, another ledge trapping situation. Going out for the edge guard. Uh, going around. Uh, Avery Candle's done that a couple of times to see if Oat uh, realizes that and uh, kind of starts. Oh, uh, screw that white Pikmin in particular, uh, gets punished for it. But uh, I I'd say that was worth it. Definitely worth it. It's, uh, it's to send a message. Your Pikmin aren't safe when I'm on stage or off stage. Right now, Candle is in the ledge traps. Oh, that not was in tech. Rare miss tech from Candle, but uh, even percent last stock. Uh, Right now, oh, just not getting the Pikmin off all of a sudden at 70%. Just that run up up smash is so good for Olimar because it just allows you to just have a straight up confirm no matter what you can really do about it. Yeah, up smash into anything. That's the that's the Olimar for sure. Ooh, tries to catch the neutral get up or jump with the up smash. All of a sudden, ooh, gets the tech, but this is uh, looking pretty even. Yeah, Throws the blue Pikmin, trying to get it on the next route, maybe the pull grab again we'll see problem is is right now candle's gotta find himself a way to kill out here which is pretty easy but you still gotta land these moves against mr game and watch if you're paying attention at home blue pikmin is the next in rotation we'll see if a couple of extra percent into blue pikmin grab will do it 
it, it is time. It will kill, starting now. Ooh, just a yellow forward smash. Yeah, covering the roll option using that forward smash. Yeah, great call out, great call out. Notices that they've been uh, neutral get upping and jumping a lot and staying at the right side. What's the chance they'll roll the next time? Who knows? Exactly. You know who knows? Candle, up 2-0 against O. Let's see if O can make something happen. Character stays the same. I agree. Something I've been recently seeing is they've been going all small battlefield now for this entire thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's just even between the both of them for that reason. I would think that they would want a different stage, at least in this scenario. I think maybe they're like starting to go a little bit further away from PS2. Um, PS2, one of the best neutral stages in the game, according to a lot of people. Don't ask Eric, though. Do not take Eric, though, to PS2. Learn from your mistakes, uh, Wisconsin Smashers. Um, but uh, just kind of favoring small battlefield over time. Definitely. And right now, it's pretty even right now, but right now, Candle just has himself... Ooh, parry on the forward smash there. Very good parry. Unfortunately, doesn't get much uh, reward off of it because of the smash attacks just having no lag. You know. What's up, commentators? What's up, commentators? We have Dead up? Maniac entering the room. But, uh, the deadest of maniacs. A lacrosse commentary right now. A uh, lacrosse commentary. Not biased, not biased. Definitely not biased in any sort of world. I'm actually kind of rooting for Oak because uh, this is the 88th best player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this this person beat a cola. Yep. You yeah, gotta pray on the down Getting a back air on that. Yeah, praying on the downfall of our homies. But, uh, <laughs> you know. We, uh... <laughs> Ooh, up throw. Yeah, you cannot be dash attacking first that shield yeah. when blue is out. First lead of the game, quickly dismantled. Let's see if... Ooh, gets the purple to throw. I'm surprised I was able to confer. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Kendall says that they're tired, but... Uh, Doesn't look like it. it. I don't it does it. not look like it in this scenario. They're just running them over at the moment. Yeah, uh, I don't know how previous sets between these two got gone, but uh, this is... Looking a little bit like a wash. I mean, this is oh. catching the catching the up B and with the up air killing them for it. That is a punishable move if you know that the gaming watch is going to go for the up B. But it's always hard to see whether or not you're going to get a punish on that. We got double purples, the Myron zone, some would call it, but uh, let's just call it the candle zone now. We, we don't have to talk about Myron anymore. Now first. <laughs> First of all, we need to make sure that Candle does get three purples. Oh, that's the Candle Zone. That will definitely be the Candle. How did they, did they back here their own Pikmin? Yeah, uh, got reflected and then was sticking to him and said, no, no, screw that Pikmin. The forward, we don't have time. Forward smash and disadvantage We're gonna see is crazy. A, ooh, no two frame attempt. Tries to call out something at ledge, but... Uh, I think they were trying to call out neutral get up at the shield for the shield break. For the yeah. shield break, or just hitting, but... Uh, Either or. Ooh, that shield is really low. It's super low. Oh god. If you're old, you're 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 not nervous, but you're like, I'm about to get shield broken. Yeah, Candle is playing really oh got the throw. Blue. And that's it. Purple that Throwa is uh really strong, especially against light characters. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's see, next set. What will next what, set be? What is our next set? Let's see, let's uh let's refresh this. <laughs> Oh, that was semis, not finals. Oh yeah, that was semis. So what? So what's the match that will be happening next? It looks like Mar 